everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alina Popescu and I'm a self-published author. I write mostly paranormal and urban fantasy, some sci-fi, some contemporary romance and the newest trick in my bag, mysteries, which I'm working on all of this month. In today's video we're going to discuss my writing goals for March, how I did and my new goals for this month for April and a little bit about how I reframed the way I approach goals and um, how that helped me manage my stress and kind of uh, relax a little. I've always set goals that were kind of insane to be honest and I still do that I just don't do them in a very specific manner so instead of being very strict with what books I should write on and what books I should finish and publish and edit that jazz I kind of go with more um, of a guideline approach to my goals like finish one work in progress or finish two or write every day things like that and um, that actually helped with the exception of covers where I kind of got specific and then went off script um, it helped a lot I felt better and uh, I did more of my goals I'm not going to get into sensible goals all of the sudden because it doesn't generally help me I'm just going to aim for this would be the ideal thing and then there's a minimum of things I want to achieve which basically comes down to doing at least a cover every month and at least writing 2000 words a day five days a week which is like a baseline that I don't want to get under if that makes any sense so let's go through March and my goals and how I did the first one was to write 75,000 words this it didn't happen but I did write about 46,000 words a little over that so it was a good month especially after February where my total was like 12,000 words <laughs> this was a great improvement my next goal was to finish one work in progress. I did that, it was just Don't Book 6, which is called Don't Play Games. And then I had another goal to finish another whip, um, or WAP, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one was just Don't Book 7. <laughs> Don't look away. Um, and that completed Taylor's story arc, which was kind of explored over three novellas in the series. I actually finished this book yesterday on March 31st, which is awesome if you ask me. The next two goals were cover design um, goals and they were for two covers for Just Don't, book six and seven, because um, those were the only ones without covers and I, I, I did that. I did that in the first half of the month though and I actually did an extra an extra goal. I designed a cover for a cozy that I've just started working on. Um, I haven't done a proper cover reveal but I did share them in my author group so if you want to be among the people who get the inside scoop on everything first mostly you can either subscribe to my newsletter or for a more um, frequent sort of a uh, deal where you get more announcements you could join my author group on facebook and i will link that in the description down below if you're interested the next two goals i failed um so number six was to publish one book this month i didn't but i kind of decided to completely forget my publishing schedule and do it whenever it's happening because uh, it was just too much stress and the next one was to set a pre-order what's going to happen now is that I finished drafting these three books and I'm going to go through them and edit them and send them to my editor so there will be at least two releases in April so I'm, I'm not too worried about that but you know these were a miss in March the eighth was um, eighth and ninth goals were about YouTube and they were to get back on a schedule this month for both channels and I did that it was in the second half of the month but man I did it I'm, I'm taking it it's a win it's great <laughs> the next goal the 10th of the month was to read 10 books <laughs> I read um, let me let me just make sure yeah 35 
bit of an overachiever there and next um i had a goal to draw more than i did in february and i i did that because i didn't i i had three days when i drew in february it wasn't a hard goal but it was an important one for me to achieve so i had 11 goals i got eight out of those plus an extra goal which uh, which was great now on to this month let me just find it um this is what it looks like if you want a clearer photo of this it will be on my instagram so you should follow me there i have 10 goals for this month the first one is to write 75,000 words again i try to aim for that every month as this is camp nanorimo month um the first of the year i'm hoping i'll get closer to my goal i don't have specific camp goals i never have because basically every month is nano month what i do appreciate about nano months whether it be camp or my dog is just walking around please ignore him whether it be camp or the actual nano rimo in november what i appreciate most about it is that everyone seems to be into this they all want to write more there are more writings and all that buzz you get from the creative juices flowing everywhere it's, it's really helpful plus the shame and peer pressure that i've talked about before i have two goals to finish two works in progress i'm aiming for mysteries alone this month but you know if i feel like writing something else fine i'll do it that that's okay i'm not stressing too much about it but i kind of want to write the mysteries so <laughs> that works out my fourth goal is to design a cover for uh, the first owl investigations book i kind of worked on this concept a bit so i just need to tweak it more and refine it so it's a doable goal the next goal is to publish two books which should be easy enough as i have three completed drafts and their novellas so it shouldn't take me that long to go through them and send them to my edit and hopefully her time is not completely booked by now because it's my fault i'm sending these late the next two goals are again about youtube and it's to keep the schedule i've just gotten back to for my two channels and that's two videos a week for the author channel plus my saturday writing plus now that camp is happening claire and i are doing 10k tuesdays we're going to stream the first stream is tomorrow on my channel it starts at 7 a.m my time which is 11 p.m central midnight eastern so yeah we're doing that we'll see how it goes and the regular descent into madness streams and the genre talk i do with nikki every month by the way it's happening next weekend the next goal is to read 10 books because it's going to be a busy month um i might stay on on um, on track and not go overboard again but um i mean it's it's april 1st I've already finished one. It's a book I started last month, obviously, but I finished that and I have a few more to finish. And it's just the first day, so I might have like two done by the end of the day today, <laughs> because one's done and I still have reading time left in the day. I'm insane, I know. The next goal is to draw more than I did in March. This will be a bit more difficult, but not impossible because I didn't do a whole lot of drawing. I think I have like 10 days max where I drew and the last goal is to keep up with my workout schedule this is very important because in May I'm going to go have my x-ray on my leg and see how my bones doing and I might have to go have surgery and I need to build more muscle before that so that if I have to stay in bed for a week or two I don't lose a lot of muscle mass so that's why that's a priority so these are my goals for the month do let me know what yours are um, if you have specific camp goals let's talk about that it's not the case for me but everyone has different ways of setting their goals and um, if you learn anything from me or take any bit of advice is to try to find a balance between pushing yourself more and then not going insane with too much stress it's a very tough balance to establish and maintain but you know it's important because staying healthy is quite important it's what keeps us going and especially during camp months i feel like we get wrapped into the writing and uh, forget about the health aspects and um, yeah 
stay hydrated try to replace all those camp snacks with healthy snacks i i know i'm trying and um that's that's about it have a great month of april and um i shall see you soon with a new video thank you so much for watching do like share comment all those impressive things you do to help us youtube creators stay on track and you know expand our reach and um happy writing everyone bye